Here, I'm going to show you a great little trick for removing macros and a VBA from your workbook using another macro. And in this workbook, we have a nice little macro, and it says, hi. So we're going to remove the code from this workbook, and I'm going to show you how to remove it from another external workbook. And if you want to learn how to do so, so, so much more in VBA and become an expert in VBA, Take my full VBA course. It'll take you from beginner to intermediate to advanced to expert. And I'll put a link to it below this video. Now let's go to the VBA window, Alt F11. And here we have a lovely tiny little macro. Hi. So let's go ahead and get this workbook without any code. We create a macro. Let's call it remove all code from workbook. And in order to insert a module, by the way, just go to Insert Module, and you'll get this window. So how do we remove the code? It's a simple, amazing little trick. We save this workbook as an XLSX file type, and that file type can't contain any code. And we only need two things to do it. The first one is a file path and name. So we make a little variable. You don't actually need a little variable for this, but let's go for that. New file path. And what you want to do is to give it a fully qualified file path and a name for the file and an extension for the file. So you could go like this and continue for file name.xlsx. And there's no problem with that at all. But what we are going to do here is to make it a bit more dynamic and put the new file in the same directory as this current file. And to do that, we have to figure out where the current file is. This is this workbook.path. And then we have the directory for this workbook. So let's go ahead and finish building out that path. Ampersand and uh, this guy. And I'm going to go ampersand and put the name of the file. Now, you could separate it like I'm doing here. And let's just fill it out and I'll explain why. Or you could have uh, these guys together. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to read code if you separate it out like this. But honestly, I do this because usually this is going to be contained in another variable. So you make a file name however you want to make it up here. Maybe give it a unique name. I cover that in my full VBA course. That way the files are never going to overwrite another file. And you generate that up here, save it in a variable, and then put the variable down here. And when you do that, you have a variable here. And you need to make sure that you don't forget XLSX. But if we keep it simple here, we could remove this and remove this and have it like that. The file extension is a very, very, very important XLSX because XLSM is the macro enabled file format, which is what this file currently is. So XLSX and and now we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and save this guy. This workbook dot save as space. And we give it a file name. And that is the new file path. So fully qualified file path name and extension. And we need to then put 51 for the file format for the XLSX file format. <laughs> you could also put... Excel open workbook or whatever the full name for the constant is here, but I find remembering the number to be a bit easier. Now there's one more thing that we should do here. So when we save this in a different format, it's going to remove all of the macros and it's going to give us a warning. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Well, I'm sure. I don't want the warning. So application.display alerts equals false and application dot display alerts equals true. So we just turn it off before we try to save it, then turn it back on. And this is it. This is all that we need to turn this file into a file that cannot contain macros. However, if I run it, let's check out what's going to happen. So click in here and hit F5 or play. You notice the macros are still here. However, look, new name dot xlsx. That's the name. If I hit Alt F11, we see new name. So we are now in the new workbook. That's what save as does. 
the old workbook is still there. However, we could now go ahead and delete it if we wanted to. But you may now think, okay, well, why is this code still here? It's here because we're still in the workbook. If you close this file now, new name, XLSX, so close this guy and reopen it, the code modules will be gone. So everything did work. It's just not updating because we're still here. Now, oftentimes you're not going to be running this code on the currently open active workbook. You're going to want to run it on another workbook. So uh, let's take this code and update it so that we can run it on really any other workbook that we want to run it on. And I'm going to show you a nice little system here. Let's call this one remove code other workbook enter. Give it some space so I can center it on screen. And for this guy, we need a few more variables. New file path as a string. And let's go file to remove code as a string and wb2 remove code as a workbook. So we can get a reference to the workbook where we would like to remove the code. Now uh, let's get the full file name and path file to remove code. It's going to be in the same workbook as this one. So this workbook uh, dot path and We'll go like this, and let's go remove macros from a workbook using vba-sample2.xlsm. This is the other file that has a tiny little message box macro in it. Make sure we typed everything correctly. Now, in the real world, especially with larger projects, you're not going to be hard coding that. So in the final project and leading up to the final project in my full VBA course, we make this into a nice little function and we can give it dynamically the name of the file that we care about. That way everything happens automatically. It is actually really, really cool. So link to the course below this video if you're interested in that. Now we have the file that we would like to work with. Let's go ahead and get a new file path as well. So basically where we're going to put it. New file path, let's put it in the same place, this workbook.path. And let's go, there we go, new name two. And don't forget XLSX, like that. And once again, this might be broken out because usually I am going broken out so we have quotes around this guy and then separate around this guy in the extension. And that's because once again, usually I have this in a variable and I just pop it in there. So it makes it a little bit easier for me. But this is what's important. So XLSX, and we are going from XLSM. Now what I want to do is to open up the workbook. And we're making a huge change to the workbook, so you might want to do some things with it other than just remove the code. So let's go WB to remove code, control space to fill that in, and workbooks.open. So easy to open workbooks. Which one do we want to open? How about the one that has the code we want to remove? So file to remove code. And now all we have to do is type this to work with that other workbook. You want to remove worksheets or maybe buttons because buttons are usually attached to macros. And we're going to remove all the macros, so maybe you don't want to leave buttons in. Well, this is where you do that. We are not going to be doing any of that here, but this is where you would do that. And once you are done slicing and dicing and getting that workbook ready, let's go ahead and save it save as new file path 51 for xlsx format and of course we don't want to be asked if we're certain that we want to change the file format so application dot display alerts equals false copy that true all right now is there anything else that we need to do we have resaved it as a new name and a new file extension so it's not going to have any code in it. Well, let's go ahead and close it because remember it's going to be open. So close and space. Do you want to save any changes? If any changes were made, yeah, sure. So we set that to true for the save changes argument. Now, how about one more thing? We have taken the workbook that has code in it. We have changed it. We have updated it and we've made it how we want it. So maybe we don't want the original file there so we can kill it. Now, when you're using kill, remember, give it the full file path name and extension. 
There's more advanced things you can do with that. I cover in the full VPA course, but you have to really, really be careful. Because once we kill this guy, it's not going to be sent to the recycle bin. So file to remove code. And now we are going to open up this other workbook, and we are going to resave it so that it has no macros in it. Then we're going to close it and kill the original file. And that's all. Just these few lines of code. And in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to expand this so that you can export large projects very, very easily. And then this will just be a small feature of that macro. And that's a great thing when you learn how to do all these little things with VBA. Keep it in the back of your mind. And when you go to create a bigger project, a bigger macro, you can just pop these guys in there, make a few changes, and have a nice big dynamic project. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, check out my full VBA course. It'll take you from beginner to intermediate to advanced to expert. <laughs> so it's a really big course. I think you could get a lot out of it. But that's all for this tutorial. I'm not going to run these guys because I don't want to delete the files from my computer right now. <laughs> but that's all there is to remove code from other workbooks. And this is all there is to remove code from uh, this current workbook. Remember, though, in order for this to work, you must close the file and then reopen it.